of the IWC Super Indie Showdown coming to you from West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. It's a four-man tournament. The winner will be the Super Indie Champion and the top seed going into next month's Super Indie 3 tournament. And the four-man mini tournament starts with AJ Styles and CM Punk. I am personally offended for Colt Cabana. Why does he have to? He's the Super Indie Champion, isn't he? He is. Why does he have to participate for a spot for the number one contendership to something he already holds? Well, first of all, the Super Indie Championship is traditionally vacated each year if the champion cannot compete in Super Indie 3. And secondly, Cabana, as far as I'm concerned, might have had it a little easy as of late. He's been out with a shoulder injury for quite a few months and has not been able to defend that Super Indie Championship as much as you'd think. So this way, this makes up for it. Well, Cabana has to actually win two matches tonight in order to retain his own title. But let's focus here on Styles and Punk in the other semifinal. AJ Styles working over CM Punk. Both these guys wrestling at such a high level here in the IWC and all over the country. Both guys have also been to Japan. These are really two of the best of the best. And in this tournament, we've got the three guys who have ever held the Super Indie title. Styles, Cabana, and Super Hentai plus CM Punk. So whoever comes out of this is really going to be riding hot. And this is the first ever in an IWC ring meeting between Styles and Punk, and it's pretty much guaranteed this is going to be a classic. Uh, I'm putting 20 bucks on Punk. Really? I'm gonna take that action? I'll put 20 bucks on AJ. It's funny you should mention that. History would say that Joe's going to win this bet because in all their meetings throughout the wrestling world, CM Punk has never defeated AJ Styles. I did not know that. I, I did not know that. Well, now you know. We'll see if he can do it here. I thought you were the one that was supposed to pull all the information, Dombrowski. Some info falls through the cracks. Cracks in skull. Nice go behind takedown by AJ Styles. Both guys getting a very good ovation coming out here. Even though the fans don't really like CM Punk a whole lot, based on his attitude, a, a ton of respect for his ability. He's been the IWC champion here before. And you can only hope that CM Punk is going to attempt to win these matches fair and just, and not try to involve Sterling James Keenan, and not try to involve Alex Danger, and keep this thing one-on-one, -on -one, totally fair, totally competitive. Right. Make me sick. Are you telling me, wouldn't you be upset if this hey. classic was ruined by outside hey, interference? You know, you know what, a few weeks ago, you were all up in CM Punk's business. I thought you were, you know, you, you were like a, you were like, wedgied underwear you were all up in his business so far. Whoa. But he hangs out hanging out with Sterling James Keenan and you don't like the IWC champion and all of a sudden, oh well uh, Punk can go to hell too. Well oh, Punk has drank some of Sterling's Kool-Aid. Well, That's all there is to it. Punk's got the arm bar going here as AJ Styles able to roll out of trouble and now these guys are pretty much trading holds on the mat. They know each other, they've, they've wrestled each other, they're not trying anything too cute in the early going. The fans respond there. And Punk's going to go out to the floor and take a breather. Excellent counter by AJ Styles. You saw the nip up coming from uh, from Punk. And countered by dropping like an elbow drop. Jarring that shoulder twice on impact and on impact again with the mat. Right. Very impressive. You know, we harp on this a lot, but AJ Styles, keep in mind, never lost that Super Indy Championship to begin with. He had a vacated for Super Indy Tournament 2. He had a part booking he could not break. He's had a couple defense defenses against Cole Cabana to challenge to regain that championship. He's fallen just short. But this will go full circle for Styles in the past year. It was March 2003 he won the first title. He can win it again tonight. So it's a flip and a two count. Here comes Styles. He gets two. Hooks him up possibly for the Styles clash. Punk is desperately trying to get out of it and he flips out of it. Whoa, what a kick to the leg. He's had a lot of tough tests in his career, but I don't know if he's had any tougher than tonight. We talked in the past, CM Punk gets a back suplex. We talked about the endurance of CM Punk. He's gone 30, 45, 60, 90 minutes without a break. There is no way that I think endurance could factor in for him. AJ, not that proven when it comes to long Ironman type matches. Well, he's proven in just about every other stand, so this could be another addition to the legend of AJ Styles if he could go all night and win this tournament. Punk elbowing his way out of trouble here and misses the elbow that time. Styles coming back. That time he misses. Reverse roll up, gets two. Punk trying to get a quick victory here. And it could happen, he never can tell. Snap Mare and a rear chin lock. In fact, Punk and Cabana once went 33 minutes in an Ironman match in this building back in late 2001 for the IWC. Unfortunately, I don't think that match was ever televised or taped. It was a great match. And now here in 2004, he may end up meeting Cabana in the finals. But that's getting way ahead of ourselves. Crucifix takes Punk down and 
two. And now going to a head scissor. Look at that quick motion by AJ. One move didn't work, so he automatically has a backup plan. Both of these guys, big stars in the NWA. Of course, former NWA world champion AJ Styles. Both guys being in Ring of Honor, and they've also competed for a 0-1 over in Japan. And uh, you know, Bruce Gray in the ring, who, uh, though he can't dress himself properly on occasion, has appeared for NWA TV. Well, he's got a good excuse being colorblind and all. Boy, did he look a mess on that show. Uh, you know, I, I don't think they saw it on camera, but I know for a fact he was, he was throwing that shirt on as he was running down the ramp. I don't know why he didn't have a shirt on in the back. I, Asked for apprentice, he might, you know, he might have sent him out there unexpectedly, but Punk trying to ground at AJ Styles here. Both these guys, they know they're in it for the long haul, in it for endurance sake. And um, sometimes they're going to a hold where they try to just sort of slow the momentum and wear their opponent down. Big leaf fall by AJ Styles showing that athleticism. Ground board roll up by Punk gets two. And an arm drag by Styles sends Punk flying. And another one. Styles slams Punk in the middle of the ring and a big knee. So much athleticism in every move by AJ Styles. This match oh, already a great example of what makes a super indie uh, division, if you want to call it a division, so so uh, incredible. Simple wrestling. Snaps him over with a nice neck breaker there. A lot of people have christened AJ Styles the best professional wrestler in the world today. And there is one way for AJ to prove it. He has to run the gauntlet tonight. He has to win the Super Indy Championship here on his, I believe, third occasion to regain the championship. No one has ever repeated as Super Indy Champion. Punk comes through and clobbers AJ in the back of the head. Hooks him up. And a good looking vertical suplex here what by time is it? Looks like six o'clock. Very nice move by CM Punk. Nembrowski's catching up. And a two count. It's working with a veteran like yourself, Kingdom. I think that's really rubbed off on the young uh, Joe Dombrowski. Call him the old. Let's just call you a seasoned pro. Mm, seasoned pro. Trying to wear down AJ Styles. CM Punk looking good right here. And Styles looking for a counter. Possibly a jawbreaker? No, he's going to go for some headbutts. AJ able to break out. Sends him in. Here comes CM Punk, another leap frog. Punk putting on the brakes. Over and out. And the fight continues on the apron. Ooh, he went for a shoulder block, but Punk caught him with a knee. And a neck breaker in the rope. Shades of Sterling James school, says CM Punk. We'll see if he can use this opportunity to really open up an offensive flurry on AJ Styles, because it's been pretty close ever since. And the last person CM Punk needs to get cocky while wrestling, it's AJ Styles, a true sensation of innovation who can pull moves out of nowhere. But right now he's trapped in a neck fight. And rams him right into the top turnbuckle. That's kind of an innovative move right there for Punk. Punk taking his time right now. Trying to conserve some energy here. And drops him with a hangman's neck breaker. He hit that really well. Cover, and Styles gets up after two. Punk has definitely decided head and neck are going to be the, uh, the targets of choice here. CM Punk wrestling a methodical style, bad mouthing, bad mouthing AJ Styles. And after the match has been at a pretty frenetic pace. So effective in a match like this, on a night like this, because not only do you get to conserve your own oxygen, but you still rob your opponent of said oxygen at the same time. Snapmare takes him over and drops him to the back of the head. CM Punk, the only man in this four-man tournament, as he gets a two count, to never have held the Super Indy title. So he's trying to add that to his uh, resume. That makes him all the more hungry. Back up, Punk. Shoots Styles in and softens up the back with a forearm. Styles is apparently looks like he's having a hard time staying on his feet. One more time. AJ trying to get the breath back in him and Punk trying to knock it right out. Oh, he went for it a third time. There's the Pele, the Pele kick. Absolutely impossible to see that coming. 
And you talked about the innovation of AJ Styles to come up with that kind of move. Hooks him up for the phenomenon, but he got caught. And Punk drops him across the knee with a backbreaker. It's a quick cover. No, only two. Not a lot of strength behind that kick out of AJ Styles, just barely able to muscle Punk off of his shoulders. AJ Styles may be fading fast. Now, in this tournament, the Super Indy title will not be on the line until the final match. So, it's just a battle to get to that final match and then win the title there. Jim Punk seems like a pretty sound strategy. Focusing on the back area of AJ Styles. If his back is in enough pain, AJ cannot move as fast or as swift as he usually does. That's right. Punk is trying to set AJ Styles up here. Trying to wrestle his kind of match. Keep Styles from flying around. And when he caught that phenomenon, he did a good job of grounding AJ Styles. There. So at this point, how many people do we have officially in the Super Indy Tournament? Joe? Well, we have the Barbaric Berserker, Jimmy Jacobs. We have Glenn Spector, and we have Homicide. And I'm sure after this taping, more names will be announced. Head to IWCWrestling.com for Jimmy more Rave. information. Jimmy Rave. Hey, there we, we go. Found out Jimmy Rave has been confirmed as being in this tournament. A star of the NWA Wild Side promotion in Georgia and NWA TA. That's four big names in this tournament. April 17th, it's going to be an amazing night. Yes, it is. Jimmy Rave going to be making his IWC debut as well as Homicide. So it's good to get some brand new talent in for that tournament. And, and amazingly enough, that news was delivered to us by uh, actor Bill Murray. <laughs> Still feeling like he got robbed after uh, the Oscars didn't win for Lost in Translation. I wonder if Sean Penn will be stopping by. You gotta punch out the cameraman. He didn't even bat an eye when he said that. I think we got the toughest cameraman in wrestling right here. Yeah, he doesn't sweat Sean Penn. <laughs> Punk continuing to work over AJ Styles. It's been quite a grueling match. And there's going to be one more after this for the winner. Punk heading up top. Could be going for that big leg drop off the top. There it is. True till death. The greatest maneuver in professional wrestling history. I know. Only two. Very close. Very close. Are you talking about the top rope leg drop or Punk's particular version of that move? The top rope leg drop. So you're a big Psychosis fan, I take it. Bobby Eaton. Listen to the crowd. James guy. Listen oh, to the he's... crowd. Wally behind AJ Styles as Punk mounts the ropes again. Oh, he got caught oh. coming down. And there's an insecurity. That's right, Kingdom James. You can call that the 1812. Punk in trouble. And AJ Styles nails him again. This is where the conditioning of Styles comes in. He was on the defensive for a long time, AJ and now he's able to fight back. He's a lot of energy to get those Insiguri kicks up. Missed that one. Yes. And a German suplex two. Punk almost came out with a victory that would put him in the final. I think frustration might be starting to set it on Punk. He can't defeat AJ Styles, keep him down for three, no matter what. And now the fans solidly behind AJ Styles can blame them considering Punk's recent allegiances with Sterling James Keenan. Aw, oh, don't start with that. I'll start whenever I want. You're garbage. <laughs> Forearm by CM Punk. As I'll try to keep you two from coming to blows. I'm trying to keep an objective mind here for once. Well, I do applaud you for that. At least you're not bouncing to the four wins like you uh, have done in the past. Glad to hear you've got a mind. Punk softening up Styles. Coming back. He's going to go for the phenomenon again, and he got it. Notice he didn't have enough energy to flip all the way over, but he still got the maneuver off. One, and he's got a cover. Two, AJ two. advances. Oh, very close. Punk kicks out of two. I think it was Styles coming off, uh, you know, kind of a kilter there that kept Punk from catching him again. And you got to give Styles a lot of credit. He didn't hit that move the way he usually does, but he still managed to get it and almost win the match with it. This matchup is so great, and this is just the road to Super Indy 3. Imagine what kind of action we're going to see Saturday night, April 17th, right here at CCAC in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania, for Super Indy Title Tournament 3. The tradition keeps growing year after year, with Super Hentai winning it the first year, Cabana winning it the second year, the winner of that match tonight will meet the winner of this match to see who goes into Super Indy 3 as the champion. Punk firing back with some good forearms and a big head of steam. He misses and a big discus clothesline and both men are down. Straight forearm shots, vicious to each other's heads. And I think Punk might be bleeding from the nose. As fatigue sets in, both men go deeper and deeper into their arsenals, pulling out all stops to defeat their opponents. And Styles may be getting up first here. And the entire Super Indy division 
attracting a ton of great talent. Homicide coming in and just found out about Jimmy Rave. And there's the Shiny Wizard! Sends AJ completely out of the ring onto the hard basketball floor. AJ Styles just saved himself. Well, actually, Punk just ruined his chances of getting a pin by sending Styles to the floor. Well, you he could have softened easily, him up, you know. He could have easily rolled him up for a quick pin there, hit him so hard and so close to the ropes, Styles is out on the floor. Well, I think Punk likes to hit that move with the element of surprise where his opponent really can't see it coming. It just so happened that Styles was next to the ropes and just got knocked out of the ring. Hey, Punk's had so many near falls on AJ Styles. Today. I think he wants to make an extra sure that AJ is not going to be able to kick out. The question is, whoever wins this match, how much gas will they have left to face either Cabana or Hentai in the final? That's an excellent point. Well, thank you. Welcome. All right. And now here comes CM Punk. Is he going to head up again? No, I don't think so. I think he's going to try something different. Look at the spring in here, and he does. Oh, he got Kermit can run at him. Styles Clash! Styles Clash! The crowd up, and it's the Styles Clash. And he got him. just a little bit better, a little more determination. But how in the world is he going to go to another tough match like this against the winner of Colton?